Hello, I hope you're having a good day. Um, I'm looking into, I've been doing this for quite some time actually, looking into the Demiurge. This is something that I don't really talk about. Uh, I mentioned it a bit in my talks about the Philosopher's Stone, the green vitriol. Vitriol uh, is the motto in um, in Ro Rosicrucian, Ro Rosicrucians. They have the motto vitriol. And it's called vitriol, right? Maybe you know about it. Uh, anyhow, what I am attempting to do is to... Um, so, what I'm doing... Um, and, and have been doing for quite some time is to try to understand this artwork. And not only that, I've been trying to understand the Demiurge and I believe that um, it's a really bad idea, idea to scapegoat and sometimes I maybe fall into that, to that um, slippery slope myself and I'll try to do, do better. Uh, but it's incredibly hard, right? It's, it's, it's the biggest problem of humanity is the scapegoating. Uh, so some people maybe want to put labels on me. Uh, call me a Luciferian, someone did. Someone called me a Luciferian. And what, what makes me think about that is that you are falling into the slippery slope when you say like that. Because you want to brand me. You want to brand me. When you brand me, you black paint me. When you black paint me, you scapegoat me. And so I'm against that. Right? So maybe uh, that's a thing. We, we really do want to scapegoat. It's in our nature and that sucks. We suck. I suck, you suck. Uh, and so, um, uh, anyhow, as I said, I'm looking into this Demiurge stuff. I believe that I am um, uh, describing it pretty well, understanding what it's about, and the dynamics between the Demiurge and, and the scapegoating problem of mankind. And uh, I believe the way to beat this enemy, because this is what I consider to be an enemy, and again, I need to be careful about uh, the slippery slope of, of scapegoating, because that will uh, uh, defeat uh, my attempt in what I'm doing here. Uh, so, um, uh, what needs to be, what needs to be done is simply to describe the enemy. That's how you beat it. Uh, so I am going to describe this enemy, and I welcome feedback. If you believe that I am incorrect, if you believe anything about this. Uh, about this subject, uh, comment. Uh, but I'm pretty sure that I found something and finally, finally we can all understand the art that has been drawn. Um, it will happen, I just need to, to write about it, you know, and maybe I'm a bit lazy sometimes, maybe I'm distracted and so on, but uh, at uh, at uh, in in some time there will be a description of this uh, why what's actually going on here uh, why is uh, something forget about the lion okay why is something biting the sun so that's the thing if you focus on the lion here the lion that is biting the sun then you can scapegoat lions, you know. 
that's a problem you don't want to do that uh, so something is eating the sun there is blood and that's that's um, not good so to say so we need to figure this out and um, I, I just wanted to know that I am uh, I am doing this and uh, it's going pretty well already and I I'm just keeping it to myself um, for now um, uh, because I can I can keep it to myself uh, I am sharing enough uh, of things with with people and some things I can keep to myself until I feel uh, there is time to talk about it. Uh, so I wanted to know that there is an enemy. I don't call it Satan. I don't call it. Um, I don't call it um, the goat. Um, I don't call it. Uh, uh, Jesus Christ or, or anything of this I don't call it anything like that I, I, I call the enemy uh, this the Demiurge and I'm already it's already going pretty well to describe this enemy for me um, without scapegoating it simply describing its properties and its features and so on um, and um, just wanted to know things are happening behind the scenes uh, and uh, eventually you will you will know about this okay just wanted to say bye bye